welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me, and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and a review on this palette right here. It's from Coastal Scents, and it is a cool tone palette. It's, personally, I am a warm tone gal, so it was kind of cool going outside of my comfort zone and using cool tones, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. This is just going to be an eye tutorial. I don't want to bore you guys with all my repeated products, but let me know if you guys do want an updated everyday makeup routine. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this palette right here. It's from Coastal Scents and it's the Hardine Bloom. I think it's Hardine or Jardin. I'm not really sure, um, but it looks like this. It just gives me like summery vibes, so I really like the packaging. It comes with 12 eyeshadow colors. There are six shimmery colors and six matte colors, so that's kind of nice because you get the best of both worlds in a palette and it's not majority one or the other. What's really cool about this palette is that it's so affordable. It might even be cheaper than some drugstore palettes because I know I've seen drugstore prices go up in the past year. It's like 15 to 16 dollars for an eyeshadow palette at the drugstore which I'm just like that's not even like that much cheaper and I've actually never tried anything from Coastal Scents. I've always had my eye on it for the longest time but I was lucky enough that Coastal Scents actually sent me this palette. So I was like, okay, this is my time to try it. I need to try it out for you guys and for myself because I'm really interested to see how the color payoff is. So my initial impression when swatching this on my finger, it feels really buttery and I think that's like really good pigment. Let's see when I swatch it. So the first swatch has a lot of color payoff, but obviously when I blend it into my skin, it kind of becomes a bit sheer, but I'm going to try one of the shimmery colors. I'm definitely going to go for a shimmery eye. Ooh, I'm like actually really tempted by this green shimmer right here. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was planning on doing like a purple eye look. I'm not really sure now. But okay, let's get into it and see what this palette is like. So I did put concealer on my eye as a base, but I'm going to be taking that white cream color and setting that concealer. Next, I'm going to be taking this kind of cream color right here, and then I'm going to go in with this brown color. So the first one I'm using is kind of like a cool tone brown, and the second one is just a warm tone brown, but I love any kind of brown on my eyelid as a transition color, so I'm just going to do both. So these browns are really light for me, so it's almost like another setting um, color, but... Let's see about the warm brown, because I'm only doing the cool brown right now. Okay, I'm going to do the warm brown, see if that gives any color. It's still kind of light for me, so I'm just going to go in with an actual color. So I'm actually going to go straight in with this shimmer green color right here. I think it's going to look so pretty on the lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend out those edges, make it kind of seamless since it is like a dark color. So since it is so cool toned, it almost looks like silver on camera, but it does have more of a green tint in person. So while I have this green shadow on my brush, I'm gonna put it on my outer lower lash line. I think it's really important to put something on your lower lash line, whether it's a light brown or a dark brown or anything and smoke it out because that that really transforms your eye look. I feel like whenever I forget to do it, it looks like something's missing on my face. Next, I'm going to take this black navyish color. So I'm just going to deepen up the corners with this. So I'm just going to blend this darker color out. I feel like I haven't done this like little V deep in the outer corner technique in a long time. So that's the complete eye look. I just need to put on mascara really quick and I'll be back. So this is the completed look and I actually am surprised of how much I enjoy this look because usually I don't go for cool tones. You guys know I can't get enough of warm tones. So it's kind of nice going outside of my comfort zone and using cool tones. 
So my final thoughts on this palette right here is that the eyeshadows were pretty buttery, um, but like I said, when you rubbed it into your skin, it kind of got sheer. But I feel like a lot of eyeshadows do that. And I know there are a lot of people that actually do wear cool tones on an everyday basis. So if you are that person, definitely go check this out. I will have a link down below in my description box. And again, this palette launches on May 9th, so definitely check it out. I'm actually looking into getting their brush set next because it's pretty affordable for all of the brushes that you get and I'm definitely in need of some new ones. My brushes right now that I use are from like another country. I think I got it in like Hong Kong when I went. They're definitely really harsh on my face and not good quality at all. So I'm definitely going to look into that. And even if you're not into cool tones, I definitely recommend checking out their website because it's very affordable. It's definitely more affordable than Makeup Geek and ColourPop. And so if you thought that was affordable, just like wait till you see Coastal Senses website. It's, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and kind of liked this quick tutorial. I don't really do many of them, but I was just like, why not? So get excited for all these summer videos that I'm going to be coming out with, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!